Hi, today I'm gonna try and swap a GPU core on this GTX 580. It says Lightning, but it is not. It is a fake. Um, fake as in it is uh, rebranded Lightning to some lower series, uh, which has different memory type and also lower bent core. Other than that, the PCB is kind of the same. And uh, yeah, the core is pretty much dead because it artifacts and uh, well, there isn't really many ways to fix it. So I'm gonna try to replace it. Let me show you first what it does. So you have an idea. Yep. That's it. So uh, this is our new core. Uh, I got it from China, obviously, and it was rather cheap. So I'm gonna hope it works. Um, it is also pre-bolt, so it is kind of convenient for me because I still haven't got to the level of pre bolting myself such a huge chip. Um, I suspect it is uh, lead free balls, so not quite ideal, but hopefully I will be able to manage. And first of all, I want to inspect the balls themselves uh, just in case there are some imperfections and something that needs to be fixed. Okay, uh, balls on this one look a little bit cruddy, but shouldn't be a problem. So I'm gonna st uh, use the other core for now, but this one I'm gonna keep for later. Let's check for uh, resistance uh, on major rails, just to have a reference. PEX or PLL, 135 ohms, VMAM, 40 ohms, and V core. Uh, let's say one ohm. So this is our references in case uh, the resistance uh, changes really drastically after the swap. We know I have messed up. Other than that, uh, that's just our reference, so I know. And next step that we need to do is basically isolate PCB parts. We don't want to overheat or heat up too much. For that, we're gonna use simple aluminum foil and basically use it as deflector for infrared rays. Because um, this is much shinier, so it deflects uh, infrared rays much easier than uh, this dark chip. And yeah, memory chips are easy to cook alive, so what we're gonna do is gonna shield them. And also I'm gonna shield the bottom part of the card where the VRM is because I don't really need to heat up this part to the same temperature as I would need to heat up this part with the core. So yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna do. And um, oh yeah, I also forgot to mention this core. I already tried to reflow it just in case the BGA was bad after the LN2 session where it died but it didn't bring any difference. Basically, the artifacts are exactly the same.
I think I fucked it up. Focus. Yeah. The substrate is popcorn. Ah, I shouldn't have waited and removed the IR right away. Well. Alright, let's draw some conclusions on what I did wrong here. Uh, so, first option I that came to my mind was uh, that I have not baked this core. Which means uh, basically it had no way to release any sort of moisture that could be possibly trapped inside. Uh, this is a standard procedure you do with memory chips for example, where uh, basically you leave the chips for a couple of hours at 100 degrees Celsius, so you make sure that any remaining moisture from the package basically gets removed. Uh, I have not done this with the course, and maybe that's our culprit, but I can't quite tell honestly because I don't have the experience just yet. Uh, second thing I could have done better was I should have removed the infrared head uh, much sooner. Basically, um, I didn't take into account the fact that me turning off the profile, uh, or basically the profile ending, doesn't necessarily remove the heating because the infrared uh, heater of course has some thermal mass so it's gonna continue radiating onto the chip which I didn't take it to account, so basically I overheated it unnecessarily a bit too much. Which could have also resulted in this popcorn. Um, other than that, um, basically what I'm gonna do for the future is adjust the profile for reflowing a little bit and basically decrease the time by 5 or so seconds. Plus, uh, also once I see next time the core has reflowed, I will not be continuing to heat it up, I will just remove the infrared head as soon as possible. Because the chip was at first seated very nicely, basically around the time where I start adding extra flux. And basically that is the same time I should have just removed the infrared. Um, well, mistakes happen and that's the only way we can learn. So yeah, that's pretty much my conclusion for now. Uh, oh yeah, um, this GPU I won't be testing because it is that shorted on all three major rails because when uh, this uh, popcorn happened it also uh, created popcorn on the bottom side of the substrate so it basically destroyed the balls in the area which means they are short and maybe you will be able to see even that the chip is not straight on the PCB anymore because of the popcorn. Uh, focus please. cannot see it too well but you should be able to see that uh, basically this corner is lifted compared to this corner from the PCB. This was not before the popcorn happened. Oops. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and have a good one. Bye!